Yo guys, what is going on? It is Royal here today back for another episode of the Gens series here on royal.enchantedmc.net. Of course, if you guys are looking for a Gen server to play, this server is Bedrock and Java compatible. So if you guys could, you know, consider using my custom IP, if you guys are on Java, that would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are Bedrock players, the Bedrock port and the Bedrock IP are going to be linked down below in the description if you guys still want to come check out the server and play the same exact server we are playing on in today's episode. And what the hell is this, bro? I just saw this guy's hoe. I don't know how far progressed he actually is. Where is that? Oh, that's this one right here, the Eclipse tool. Wait, guys, what? What tool am I on? Because I'm not seeing this little earth thing unless I'm absolutely blind. Uh, I think I'm blind. Okay, well, uh, anyways, whatever. Moving on, guys. In today's episode, I have a plan to make ourselves a ton of money and hopefully max out our gen farm in today's video. I'm not really sure if it's going to be entirely possible, but I definitely have plans for that. Right now, we are prestige 61 one on the server very very solid i have 436 gens placed and actually i haven't sold my gem farm in a couple of days i actually don't even know if my all is still online so let's go check that oh we might be cooked yeah i haven't checked on this in a couple of days so that's kind of my bad all right um super weird account is back online i got signed out of my like console client for some reason that's never happened before but i still think we have been afking for a decent amount of time so we're gonna go ahead grab this money booster right here pop this and then we are going to sell and see how much money we make 901 billion honestly that's not great but i don't really know how long my account was offline for by the way we are using all of this money to go ahead and upgrade our gens right now and i still have been saving a bunch of stuff for today's episode to go ahead and upgrade these gens even more hopefully like the method is still gonna work because it's been a couple of days and oh my god bro we didn't even get to upgrade this full entire pillar of gens with a trillion dollars that's how expensive this is and if i slash shop bro we still have a decent amount of gens to go like uh four four more tiers of gens maybe we won't be able to max it out in today's episode but we are definitely gonna get a ton of upgrades on it but anyways guys let me go ahead and tell you what i have been saving for today's episode okay i just asked in chat to make sure but guys if i take a look at my inventory i have all of these farm keys right here and all of the top players are actually buying these farm keys for like a grip of money per so there's a couple of shops on the server i'm going to go to player warp i believe it was 20 mc or am i am i tripping what, what just happened to my game what bro why is it like this why is it doing this okay i don't know what the hell that just was that was lunar client um that was really weird but here we go bro i was asking in chat 20 mc's island warp bang let's tp on over and see how much they are buying these keys for because guys i have a grip of keys where the oh my god bro they're just buying so many things i can't even tell where the hell the keys are they buy balloons for 20 trillion dollars per yo we might have to go on a hunt that might be the move for today's video and right here 150 billion dollars her farm key is absolutely insane but really quickly we are gonna go check player warp wait is it how do i how do i oh visit we are gonna go check sanat's island because he is buying as well wait is this the same frick bro it's the same island all right whatever yeah these are probably gonna be the best prices you can also sell them for farm coins but i kind of rather sell them for money right now so sell all boom that was worth 86 trillion dollars and if you guys thought that's all i saved up in a couple of days you guys are insane because pv1 we have some more keys this is everything though all right i believe at least this should be all the keys we have saved up and maybe i actually don't need to sell all of them let's just start selling a couple of stacks how much is a stack of these gonna go for in coins 9.6 bill oh my god bro that is so much to me honestly it's not like that much but you know it's definitely helpful and i make a decent amount of keys i did put a key finder uh crystal on here but oh my god all right i think we just sell all the rest of these for the most amount of money possible 96 trillion dollars that puts us at a hundred oh wait no no it puts us at 250 trillion dollars just like that go back to slash isco now let's upgrade this farm we're easily gonna be all on like what is this echo shard blocks or whatever because that's one pillar right there and each pillar is about around ish like 1.5 trillion dollars but again you guys know oh my god wait bro i'm an idiot we did get a gen upgrade one off camera as well so let's actually use this this will make upgrading so much faster and way easier but yeah like i was saying i don't know if this is going to be enough money to max out our farm because again we did have four extra tiers of gens to go and they just get progressively more and more expensive but this is going to give us a fat update on all of our gens and just like way better progression bro so if you guys are brand new and you still want to 
start off on gens, I would highly recommend just farming out some farm keys, bro. Super, super easy. You get them relatively fast, and then you can just sell them for either coins or money, whatever you guys actually need. But now we are moving on to whatever block this is, the red gens, and we still have 250 trillion dollars, bro. I will actually be kind of mind blown if this is enough money to max out our entire gen farm. And wait a minute, I just realized the guy keeps TPing to me and saying he has a gift. So I'm gonna TP yes right here. I don't know what he has. Um, oh, it's a set. Oh, we got a warrior set. Wait, wait. I don't know which one this is. Wait, hold on, hold on. Slash set. Which one is that, bro? I don't remember there being a warrior set. That's the brand new one. Oh my god. Shout out to Dizzle. Bro, you guys know I have been hunting a set the entire season. I am like 0 for 20 on crates, and this guy just gave me the brand new updated one. Slash sets immediately. Booster sets. We are equipping this thing. It gives us a 0.375x boost to all stats. He said he remembers me from Cosmic Days. That is absolutely insane. But finally, we do have ourselves a set skin that was a goal for today's video as well and wait how do i equip let's actually get an actual armor skin i think we have every one do we have violet booster armor chance to boost the special boost on the armor i think that's going to be the best skin boom equip that and this is what we are now rocking once again shout out to dizzle we are going to go back to the island and keep upgrading but bro i'm taking that donation because guys i have opened so many crates it has been ridiculous okay and now we are on to these blocks guys i think we're going to get a maxed out gen farm in today's video every upgrade we're doing right here is only only costing 600 billion dollars which i guess actually is kind of a lot but we're upgrading like nine gens at a time oh wait no no we're upgrading 12 bro i'm tweaking yeah yeah 12 and then after this is it the lime green gen like is that the final one boom no it is not we still have the yellow but we still have so much money left over i probably should have sold some of those keys for some more uh like farm coins because it's looking like we're gonna have a bunch of extra money and here we go final tier of gens i can just kind of spam these because you can't upgrade past this so final tier of gens right here these are costing like two point four trillion per upgrade but that is absolutely fine because again we have so much extra money bro i definitely went overkill on the keys i didn't know i had this much like keys and money and then these last four will go ahead and upgrade to the max as well and now we have 92 trillion dollars left over and i do have a couple of gen slots still available that i haven't placed down because we are prestige 61 so i guess honestly just spend the rest of our money on this right like i don't really need money for anything else unless we're gonna upgrade our hoe i guess so we'll just keep it at this honestly go ahead and place all of these down down. and let's see how much money we are now making from this gen farm almost 500 gens placed as a complete solo fully maxed out um we do need to go ahead and sell this hopper because uh it doesn't have all of the slots now it's going to be co collecting the lime glazed terracotta all right well i wasn't really expecting to get a maxed out gen farm in today's video but i mean i will definitely take it so now we did just get the brand new set i do want to keep prestiging and wait slash milestones as well let's go ahead and collect all of these we got like 250 creds right there we have another two 50 creds a bunch of stuff right here 50 extra gen slots actually and we got some tier 4 totem boxes open up all of these we got a better money totem right i think that's an upgrade to the one that we actually currently have it is and then a 1.72x enchant totem that is an upgrade as well a better level totem oh my god what a roll of totems right there but they did also drop a brand new update with the brand new enchant pet so that is still what we're going to be hunting in today's episode as well definitely want to try and get my hands on that because once we get that enchant pet guys i really think we can start flying through progression now i am prestige 60 which means we have unlocked the second hand enchant now if i go to warp farm real quick i have almost 300 billion farm coins but i still have to upgrade like momentum we still have to upgrade farmer fred and now we also have to upgrade second hand the rest of these are kind of for crops and we don't really need crops anymore because i have a maxed out gen farm can we prestige laser this is prestige 50 we can let's go ahead and get that done boom prestige that which means we could probably prestige coin greed once again bang and then coin magnet is well prestige this and now we are down i mean that didn't really use that much we're still at 150 billion farm coins i guess i throw it all into second hand bang and we almost maxed out second hand already but the enchant i am really gunning for is going to be this coin factory enchant very low chance to find an insanely large amount of coins i believe this makes you billions of coins every single time it procs but as you guys can see the requirement is prestige level 100 and this is a brand new enchant as well the transfuse enchant chance to convert the crop you break into the next tier i've never actually seen this work so maybe we try and get there as well obviously not in today's episode but, you know that's just some goals for the season and actually now we do have 17,000 shards that we can go ahead and use on our brand new booster set and oh my god wait there's so many enchants all right let's go ahead and upgrade momentum to the map oh my god we can this is dumb expensive okay i guess we're gonna go for bountiful burst as well to make us some extra coins best friend i know is really good as well oh my god bro i didn't know upgrading your set was this insanely expensive bro we're out of shards just like that oh my god 
And don't forget, I still need orbs because now we have enchanted companion eggs, which means we might have to go back to the caves. I don't know, bro. I don't know what I'm doing just yet. Let's do slash pass. Let me claim all of these extra rewards that we have right here because it might give us a couple extra gen slots and, you know, some other extra rewards and stuff. Like, we have five start of the world cray keys right here, which is kind of insane. 16 enchanted pet boxes. I think we do have a small chance. Yeah, we didn't get it. We did have a small chance to get an enchanted pet out of that. And now we have, like, an extra 100 gen slots that we can get down. Almost a 600 generator farm. And hey, we actually did run through a decent amount of our balance. We only have $33 trillion left over. I might have gone a little overkill on the gens, but that is absolutely fine. We're actually going to have to make another pillar, aren't we? And there we go. Finally, now this is officially the maxed out gen farm that we can have right now. 576 gen slots. That took literally forever. Now, like I said, guys, there was just a brand new update that dropped where you can also pull the enchant pet. So if I do slash buy, I think we're going to buy just one bundle for today's episode. Because also taking a look at this bundle, you do get a bad battle companion which is a 12.5x level multiplier the ravage bundle let's go ahead and cop this we got seven of the brand new crates and we did get a bunch more totem boxes so let me actually spam all of these open and see if we get any more upgrades i think that is a better orbs totem than what we had we got a pass totem which is kind of interesting because i haven't equipped that all season but the rest of them honestly kind of suck we can actually buy an extra totem slot right here real quick and then equip this pass totem now slash totems these are all the totems that we're rocking our pass totem isn't that great but the rest of them honestly are really Really good so now let's open up these brand new battle loot boxes and we are just looking for the enchant pet because we did get gifted the warrior set you love to see it so out of the final reward looking for an enchant pet but i will take like coin pouches and stuff those are always super helpful and it looks like we got a decent amount of coin pouches right there and an orb crystal 50 gen slots one pet slot oh my god i forgot you can actually win gen slots from this i don't know if we have enough money to place down all of the gens no we should because we are still at like 40 trillion dollars and worse comes to worse i can just farm out a couple more farm keys and then go sell them and we will be good so next two crates right here three skin keys and we got the brand new enchant pet you absolutely love to see it bro oh my god what a video so far i haven't even grinded in this video yet but trust me in the next episodes we are going to be grinding with this brand new set and now the brand new enchant pet as well and we have a bunch of enchanted pet boxes i'm actually gonna wait to use those because i think i can actually upgrade our luck another 50 gen slots enchanted cell one we actually needed that final loot box of today's video guys i've gotten everything i could have ever wanted so just give me whatever bro i literally don't care two coin pouches right there you love to see a final reward for the final loot box 50 tool perk rolls now i do still have fortune three on this tool i don't know if i'm ever gonna get rid of that this season because my luck is so bad whenever it comes to rolling tool perks that fortune three might just be my cap unless it's like on uh dungeons for some reason on dungeons i have really good luck with the tool perks but now we have 450 billion farm coins and actually slash pets let's take a look at these upgrades real quick as pet upgrades we can upgrade the level cap and it's super super cheap it's only like a couple hundred million per upgrade but i mean it is kind of taking a while does it get expensive i mean no we have 450 bill bro i am maxing out everything experience finder sure why not and then for the final one pet box luck let's go ahead and max this out and then open all of our enchanted pet boxes boom max out all of our pet upgrades and wait we do have 1.9 billion orbs as well from those crates which is super super helpful but let's go ahead boom pop all of these open real quick and now slash pets i don't think you can get anything higher than enchanted tier unless they dropped an update for that as well and no i don't believe they did unless yeah we just have terrible luck maybe and wait a minute oh they did update it so now you can get enchanted plus pets so i think we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this that's gonna make an enchanted plus level pet our coin is already enchanted plus and yeah honestly i think i kind of just use the rest of these maybe on like the levels bro because levels are super important so boom but now let's go ahead just throw all of these books of experience on the brand new enchant pet and let's go ahead and get some pet stats you know some pet stats and some pet traits on him honestly god one on this would go absolutely absolutely insane but buff three off the rip i am not re-rolling that that was fate now pet stats bro we need a really good um grade in buff we got an s in level experience honestly doesn't matter too much so let's just re-roll these i'm looking for at least an s in buff we did get an a plus which is really good oh s s in buff beautiful in chat pet bro we just have to upgrade its level obviously only level 256 but wow guys what an episode so far and it turns out we did actually need all that money we are down to six trillion dollars because i just placed down another a hundred maxed out gens now i'm gonna spam open all of these extra totem boxes because guys i do actually want to get some grinding done in today's video believe it or not
not. This has just been an insane episode so far. So let's go ahead and spend this last 440 billion that we have, and then I am going on a grind session. So we max out second hand already. Farmer Fred, can we max this out? Boom, max that out as well. Momentum, max that out as well. And then what else do I even need to max, bro? I think we're good to go. Because again, we don't really care about any enchants that give us like crops and stuff. This one says type multiplier. I don't know if that's like a level multiplier. Chance for crops to get viruses resulting in a multiplier when it is broken by the player. I don't know if this is a good enchant, but only 60 billion to max it out. So I guess we'll go ahead and do it. Ooh, magic. I don't think we left enough coins to max this out, but boom, almost have it maxed out. Now let's just start farming for a little bit. See if we can get like a little one minute marker with no boosters activated and see how many coins we are actually making per minute. And bang, 1.2 billion coins per minute. Again, that's going to go way up whenever we unlock that coin factory enchant eventually, but we do have to get to prestige level 100, which is going to take a lot of grinding still. So guys, for right now, I'm going to take a cut. We are going to go grind for an hour. We'll see how many prestiges we go up, but we're also going to sell our brand new maxed out gen farm after AFK in it for one hour to see how much money we are actually making. And before I take a cut slash companion, almost forgot about this bad boy. We have the brand new uh, battle companion. So what is my lowest level? It is going to be this marshmallow. Boom. Replace that with this and we are good to go. I will see you guys in one hour. I mean, just a couple seconds for you. One hour for me. All right, guys, I may have lied a little bit. It is actually way past one hour just because I got super busy. I've been farming, I want to say, for like two hours, but we've been AFKing for like three and a half hours at the gen farm. But we are currently prestige 70. So in like an hour and a half or something, we went up like nine prestiges, which I think is insanely good. And so far, our enchant pet isn't even the max out level yet. So we will absolutely take that. But now it's time to go sell the gen farm and see how much money we ended up making. Now, I do have a brand new cell one right here. So we're going to offhand the fortune three. And then we have the cell one that we won from the crates as well. And then I'll just grab a little 4x money booster. Also, we have some more farm keys to go ahead and sell. I think I'm going to sell them all just for farm coins. But now that I'm looking at it, I do have 100 billion just from like farming straight up. And I think I've upgraded it a little bit more off camera as well. A couple more prestiges like flash. We ended up prestiging weight. I just saw. Okay, wait, wait, no. It just says prestige one, but it is the max out level. Okay. But here very soon, whenever we hit prestige 70. Five, we're gonna be able to prestige coin greed flash coin magnet all of that stuff all over again but yeah anyway slash is go we are finally starting to make a decent amount of farm coins just by ourselves which is great to see and now let's really quickly get down all of these extra gen slots we have i don't oh my god we're out of money we are out of funds we are not going to be able to place down all of our gen slots but who knows maybe out of this we will actually make enough so boom pop the money booster offhand this grab the cell wand and then slash totems make sure i have the money totem equipped of course i do all right let's go ahead and sell this hopper and see how much money we have made keep in mind the last time i sold this thing i was afk in this farm for days so this has only been a couple of hours so three two one bang 900 billion bro was that more money than what we sold for at the beginning of this episode which was days worth of drops that's kind of crazy even though i don't think this is going to be enough oh my god no it is definitely not going to be enough to max out our gen farm bro these gens are 400 billion dollars per which is absolutely ridiculous. So let's player warp visit real quick. So now we are going to sell just a couple of keys for money because uh, yeah, we need it to place down the max. Um, Just like a stack though. Yeah, that was worth $9.6 trillion. We should be good with that for a while. And then the rest sell all of them for coins, 99 billion. Honestly, I was kind of expecting a little bit more. Maybe it's worth it now for me to start opening up my own farm keys. I don't even know what you really get out of it. That's like so worth for all of these top islands to be buying it. But either way, guys, this method has been insane for today's video. We have made so much progress because of it. But let me go ahead and buy like an extra 20 gens right here. So that way we can place these down. Oh my God, wait, we're out of funds. Jesus Christ, these generators are expensive. I think we do have more than enough to go ahead and place down. Boom, we actually only had one extra gen. But now... We are at the maximum amount of slots. Oh my god, wait, bro. One thing I completely forgot about is maybe throwing a money crystal on this hoe. I don't know if that would make you more money, but I probably should have done that just to do it anyway. So now guys, slash pass, we did get a couple extra slots right here, which is going to give us more generator slots, and it is going to give us three of the uh, clown loot boxes, and these clown loot boxes are still pretty decent, so let's actually place these down and see what we end up getting. Again, we got these crates straight from our slash pass from grinding the server, so these are completely free for 
me at least. Boom, 25 perk rolls, premium pass. We clearly don't need that. And we did actually get three boosters, which is pretty nice. But final crate right here, what are we gonna get? Maybe some skin keys? All right, hey, 25 more perk rolls. I think in the next episode, we might try and get rid of fortune three and go for something a little bit better because we should have so many rolls, right? 275 just chilling. And hold on, we might get a couple more farming milestones, 25 extra. And wait, we also have some fishing milestones right here that I never claimed. Go ahead, claim all this. So yeah. In the next episode, we might be going for some stuff, but there's still a couple of worlds that I need to check out. In the next episode, like the cave world, we also need tool perks on our pickaxe. I completely forgot to do that in the like couple videos ago, but... And whoa, 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 this is brand new. Pity luck. After X amount of rolls, you will receive pity luck, providing you with a 100% chance to roll any random purple perk on your next roll. I mean, granted, it takes 500, but that's kind of cool. I swear that's brand new, right? I do have a grip of start of the world crates that, I, that we got from Slash Pass. I'm just going to place all... All of these down and we'll see what we get i don't know if you can actually win anything decent out of this anymore start of the world crates are pretty outdated at this point in the season but yeah you know what we'll roll it see what we get we might get some skin keys but i don't really think i need skin keys oh we got an ocean set finally wow unfortunately i don't need it anymore and i just realized guys we did not pull the warrior set by the way from our little bundle that we bought so once again shout out to the guy who donated me this set for absolutely free and with the slash pass and from those crates guys we now have 760 gen slots i cannot afford to to place those down right now so i believe that's gonna do it for this episode of gens we made so much progress especially on our gen farm but made a lot of progress on our tool and our levels as well especially with that brand new enchant pet so that's gonna go ahead and do it hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did drop a like sub if you guys are new obviously come check out the server with royal.enchantedmc.net and i will catch you guys in the next episode of the gens series